Patrick Munda. The epilogue of the second edition of President Museveni's book, Sowing the Mustard Seed, describes the book as a story of unflinching bravery and unwavering search for revolutionary leadership. During the launch of the book last year, the president said that some facts in the first edition had been distorted by a writer. He chose to come up with this edition to set the record straight. But I decided to write, to write it myself. And the reason I decided to write it myself was that I didn't want any deviation. Any, any deviation any. Every leader determines what kind of legacy they want to leave behind. In this case, Yoram Seveni, who released Sowing the Mustard Seed, left behind what we may call a written legacy. However, the distribution of the second edition has never been as controversial as it is today. Dr. Olive Kobsinger is the young sister of former presidential candidate Dr. Kiza Besije. In 2010, she wrote a book titled Correct Line, Uganda and Dam Seveni. The book was critical of the electoral processes during President Museveni's regime. Back then, security agents barred Dr. Kobusinje from bringing the book through Entebbe Airport, but she was later allowed to sell her copies. She's against the move to distribute the president's book in schools. Actually, I thought it was a joke initially because I didn't think the Minister of Education had read the book and would still want it to be distributed. But yeah, so if she wants all Ugandans to know what President Museveni said before he came into power and maybe to even read the first version and check what errors have been corrected. If, that, if they want to do that, I think they're perfectly within their rights to do it. I just think that it's wrong to use public funds. In the same way, this is a reference book. There will be people who will be wanting to have interest in a particular thing. Reference books are not compulsory books. The content is not examinable. Uh, so someone won't get the book and force you to read it. NTV sounded out some Ugandans in Kampala about the idea of distributing the book in schools. At the moment, if we give it to these kids from um, maybe secondary, uh, it, it will look like an indoctrination. We are trying to, to put something in the mind of these kids. I think university is good because somebody is mature enough to conceptualize, to analyze and understand. I think the idea is really good and uh, to the government, especially to our schools like in Uganda. I just don't think it's a good idea because everything that the government has a hand in is either tainted, twisted, or has its own hidden agenda, so not really working for me. The president's book mainly describes the struggle for freedom and democracy in Uganda and traces his childhood memories until the time he ousted the government through guerrilla warfare in 1986. Andrew Nitre, NTV, Kampala.